All right, so today we're gonna watch Home Alone, something we probably should have watched before Christmas. This is obviously a movie I've seen multiple times. My daughter here has never seen before, so we'll give it a go with her, see what she thinks. I've got something special. I have a unopened copy on VHS. I know what you're saying. Why aren't you watching this on 4K on Disney Plus? Well, I have a lot of fond memories of this movie, watching it on VHS. There's my copy on VHS over the years. So I thought it would be fun if we watched a brand new VHS, 250 lines worth of resolution together today on my 4K TV, 250 stretched up. What's the math on that? I'm not quite sure. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, here we go, unopened VHS copy. Let's start on the back. Hey, remember when companies used to print their logo on the plastic? Okay, this is a copy from Kmart. If you can see that there. And you get a $5 rebate if you buy Pepsi products. Expires January 31st, 1992. And there's a family travel discount from American Airlines. Expires October 31st, 1992. Let's open it up. Oh. Right. No mold or anything. Excellent. Virgin tape. Let's see what our things are here. Pepsi offers you the five dollar rebate on Home Alone video. Oh man, free slap wrist bracelet? Dang. I need one of those. Because it's gone. All right, we're back. We've just finished Home Alone. Iris, what are your initial reactions to the movie? I like the battle part. The battle part? Yeah. So the kind of end like a climax? Like like um, like when his neighbor um saved him. I thought he would like um, get up, um, like um, like scrape it and like um, like, try to kill them like that. Okay. I guess he thought um, that there was a police coming, right? That was kind of odd that they just kind of left him there. Now, Kevin knew that the police were coming to that address, but the neighbor didn't know. I wonder if the neighbor also called the police or was just like, okay, everything's taken care of. Let me just go home now that I've smacked these two guys who are about to bite the fingers off a child uh, yeah. in the head with a snow shovel. That was kind of weird. That was kind of weird, like, like, I, um, I normally just, like, um, try to do that to myself. Like, um, try to, um, um, try to do that to myself yeah. sometimes. Please don't bite your fingers off. I'll get in trouble somehow. Actually, that. I'm, I'm not really talking about the movie because I'm trying to compare, um, me and, um, and, the, um, the criminals, um, trying to, um, bite, um, fingers off. Like, I'm like, no, no, no. Don't do this to me. I'm in my brain. So I'm, I'm in the movie. It was not happening. Like no, no. Um, don't do this because I'm, um, kids will be like that. But um, but criminals will just like, um, do whatever they do. So what do you think about Kevin? He's like doing stuff to the mirror first, and that um, look, look what he's doing. He's like, ah! yes, I a, forgot that part. Uh, Touchstone of the film for sure. Every time um, um, I feel like I'm like scared um of like where he's like going or like that. This is quite a different movie than what you've ever seen before. Like that's why it kind of makes me um like um feel kind of like scared of um he's like going in places um one to another. Yeah, you seemed pretty uncomfortable in parts where there was uh Kevin being embarrassed. Like when he accidentally stole the toothbrush. Uh, and again, that's not something we've ever really watched together before. Actually, he didn't have money, right? He had money. He had it from Buzz's uh, lunchbox, if you recall. But yeah, you seemed really uncomfortable at a couple of times during the middle of the movie when it was just kind of Kevin embarrassing himself. You hid your eyes during that part. 
like um, oh, like, because we've only ever watched like horror and action together. Like um, like he uh, um goes to one and another and another and another. And kids' movies. I'm not a monster. One thing that I really enjoyed about this movie was the use of the Christmas soundtrack. I think this is one of those gateway drugs to Christmas music movies. I definitely jammed out to the Home Alone soundtrack a lot when I was a kid. I think I had it on cassette tape. I probably still have it somewhere floating around the house. Whether or not I have a working cassette player, I don't know. So as I mentioned before, we did watch this on VHS. Uh, Iris, what did you think about the quality of the movie? Could you see what was going on and everything okay? Yeah. Yeah? No other comments? Just yeah? Yeah. Okay. It was pretty soft, as you can... Actually, I did not, um, like, um, like, um, um, what quality mean. That's why I just said that. I'm actually going to do just not a super professional, but a quick comparison right here, where I'll put, well, like a side-by-side -side comparison, just me filming the screen, just so you can kind of see this is what we watched versus this is how it would look if we, say, streamed it on Disney+. Plus. And this is me recording a 13 second audio clip so that my video doesn't get a copyright strike for using John Williams' fantastic Christmas score 13. Now, there was one thing I really, really liked about the VHS as opposed to watching it on Disney Plus, and that was that we got that really old Fern Gully commercial, and we got that super 90s Pepsi commercial. That was a good commercial right there. What makes you cool is your attitude, your inner self. It's not the way your hair is cut. It's not the clothes you wear. Not the clothes. Not the clothes. <laughs> it's not what you drink. Because that right. You got Pepsi for me? Who knew? commercial the Pepsi commercial you didn't think that was a commercial yeah because um, um they're more like drinking um they're not like um like um like um how um how um they normally um um, um advertise stuff like um like YouTube and like um like um like showing a box of Pepsi um, um so um like you can buy it like that it was perhaps a little too cool to be a commercial Iris what if I told you that there is a sequel to Home Alone called Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Would you want to see this sequel starring our same familiar Kevin McAllister? What? That's weird. Yeah, they're in New... It's called Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Is that something that would be of interest of you to watch? Uh, no. But why? Because I'm... Um... That was just like, um, um, that one um, over there, um, yeah. those two um, ones, it's like, um, it's not like, um, um, Lost in New York, um, it's like, just like, home, home. Yeah. Like, um, and that one's like, not home. It's like, um, lost everywhere. Um, He's lost in New York on this one. Maybe we'll save this for next year. We'll watch it next year. What do you think? Next year's before Christmas. Before, we'll watch this one before Christmas next year. That's not a good idea? Yeah. So I think I'd grade Home Alone about a four to five, with the caveat being that a lot of that score is probably nostalgia. Coming in fresh, it would strike me probably a little more average as a three out of five, but four out of five, yay 90s. And I guess that's all. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Actually, you had to say a Merry Christmas. And Iris, are you ready for our next movie? We're going to watch Christmas Evil. What? Ha, ha, ha.